all right welcome and welcome back to the channel y'all so today's video we are having a look at who's thinking about you at night and why what are they you know wanting to do so let's jump right into this reading and starting with you how one who's thinking about you at night and what are they you know wanting to do why are they thinking about how one so we have the two of pentacles so a choice <laughs> so at night who is thinking about you it could be someone who's in a situation here who's you know having to make some type of choice when it comes to money matters if not money matters something physical something material something real life so whether this is moving here moving there picking this person picking that person what is you know going to benefit me so let's see more of who is thinking about power one and night and why so let's get the same deck here Ooh, this person's going through a tower moment they could be feeling like oh i need to hurry up and make a decision i need to hurry up quick things just start falling apart at night time i'm seeing this as like masturbation honestly so let's see what else Ooh, we have this knight of wands in reverse so very you know <laughs> dirty stuff this person is thinking about you at night could be a fire sign could be aries of scorpio this person but they're definitely we have ace of pentacles could even be a new person for some of you, you may not even know this person because again we have this new beginning here with this ace of pentacles you know they're making a choice having to make a choice when it comes to something tangible whether a new job offer a move who's thinking about power one in my time oh we have a hangman in reverse and i feel like you're definitely in this person's mind you definitely put this person in, like at a crossroads it's kind of like the vibe um getting like this person has to look at things from a different perspective y'all know if you haven't watched my 18 plus readings every time i get the hangman this is like someone who's at your fingertips like you have this person wrapped around your finger knight of wands here very kinky stuff already the knight of wands but playboy playgirl type of person again could be why this juggling energy is here so let's see more of who is thinking about you at night and why so who's thinking about power one and why who's thinking about power one and why Ooh, four pentacles here. Capricorn energy, possessive person. Guarded. Could be guarded with their heart. Could be, you know, very much guarded when it comes to their money. We have the nine of wands in reverse here. Living down their guard. Sagittarius energy. And we have the four swords. Definitely in their head. Definitely in their bed. And we have the Hierophant. Who's thinking? about power one at night and why i don't know why this gives me the vibe of this is possibly someone that's not supposed to be thinking about you they're definitely like pondering they're definitely having to make some type of choice nine of wands in reverse with the nine of wands in reverse could even be someone who's afraid to let their guard down. It's like you have this person letting their guard down, opening up their heart even. 
but they could also be stubborn with the ace of pentacles here something new libra here again thinking i don't know like they're thinking about starting something new with you or they feel like if they were to make this decision to you know get with you 18 plus wise that you know it could change up a lot of things in their life if this person has another option that could be what they're thinking like what if i was you know to choose power one i lose the other option you know then what conformity doing things by the book maybe this is someone that wants to go by the book do things i don't know Knight of Wands in reverse. This overwhelms them. They're not used to possibly opening up or something. They want to open up. They're afraid to open up. Maybe afraid of you seeing this kinky side. <laughs> Definitely in their head. You both could be in your head. Let me get this. Let's see. Who's thinking about how one at night time? 18 plus. Let's see. What's going on in their head? Let's see. Let's get some 18 plus information. What's the 18 plus that this person is thinking about how one at night? What's the 18 plus details on what it is that they're thinking about? Ace of Coins again. I feel like this may be someone that's really wanting to start something new with you. <laughs> Plant seeds. Oh, I'm even getting this vibe of someone getting pregnant even. Going all the way as, as far as getting someone pregnant. This could be a new person. Taking care of you or like the, you know, connection being very secure. That's what I'm getting with both of these Ace of Coins here. Five of coins. So Virgo, Taurus, energy, Capricorn, turmoil, financial ruin, loss. I feel like this person is afraid though. Afraid of being left out in the cold. Afraid of things not going as planned. Let's get another seven of coins here. Taurus energy. Again, look at her. She's pregnant in this card. Good things take time, long term, patience. At the back, page of swords in reverse, playing mind games. Playing mind games. Not speaking the truth, unanswered questions. What is up with this? Who's thinking about you at night and why? It's like they're thinking about the long term. It almost like fantasizing. Could be fantasizing about you, power one. Fantasizing about the what ifs. What if this happened? But I'm so drawn to what's in this, like in the middle here. The Knight of Wands is in reverse. Nine of Wands is in reverse. And the Five of Coins here is like someone has a fear of, you know, letting their guard down or not, you know, being open enough and things not working out. It's like a fear. Like they fear that maybe you may end up, you know, not interested. Things turn, whatever. But I'm in, I am getting this pregnancy energy. They're really thinking about, you know, the tower is giving me like the climax. You know, I think of it as the climax here. Fantasizing about. Mm, leaving it in or something like that <laughs> so let's see who's thinking about you at night and what are they thinking about so let's pull this I may not be able to pull this on camera due to the sexiness of it so yeah 
Let's see. What do I want to do to power one? I'm just thinking about them at nighttime and why. Ooh, five of pentacles here. Kiss and make up. So five of coins again. It is giving me like makeup vibes. This sexy deck over here. Kissing and making up. It could be something that they fantasize about. That's what I'm getting here. He's thinking about power one and what? Like, what are they thinking about? Ooh. Three of Pentacles here. Definitely like kissing and stuff. I don't know. Some of you may work with this person. You may meet this person when you do have a new job or something like that. Three of Pentacles working together. What do they want me to do? Even do it at work. They could be something because all these pinnacles here. I don't know. Like this person may fantasize about y'all doing it at work. Mm. Chasing you even. They may. I feel like who's thinking about you at nighttime 18 plus wise. They feel like if they choose to do this, <laughs> this 18 plus stuff, they feel like you will have them, you know, chasing you you know in this energy of feeling left out feeling hurt especially if this is like a work situation so and i'm even giving for some of you this may be someone you work with or you used to work with whatever because i am seeing gossip over here i'm seeing that uh stalking as well even social media stalking Strength here, taking the bull by the horns. I definitely feel like this is a masculine. They feel like they will possibly be emasculated, if that makes sense. I'm even seeing it with this knight of wands in reverse. You see how she's like on top of him, like he's a horse or whatever. <laughs> yeah, it's like she's in control. And like this masculine may feel like, may make them weak. Let's see. What else are they thinking about at nighttime? Very focused, more work stuff. That they'll be too into you and you're not as into them. I feel like they really get this vibe. I'm getting this vibe from them. Ooh, Ten of Cups and Ten of Pentacles. Knight of Wands is up, right? I feel like this person feels like they'll fall head over heels for you pretty bad. Not pretty, you know, bad, but it's like it will hurt them really badly if they do. And, you know, whatever reason, I guess, that they may feel this way. Like you have something over them. Let's get another and we'll wrap it up. Page of Pentacles. Definitely want to offer you something here. Thinking about offering you something, a date or something like this. We have the Hermit here, Virgo energy. I don't know if someone could also fantasize about a threesome as well. This could be, you know, with the choice here. Of course, they are the ones holding the coin. And this particular card has two coins. He has two coins right there. So I do get this vibe of threesomes even. Or this person may be into that. They may think about that as well. And possibly even thinking of... You know the outcome of this how this may affect y'all's relationship or whatever this is like you know wanting it to happen but if it does happen there's a potential for stuff to go down <laughs> here possibly a loss of a job even again if this is a work situation so yeah so i'm gonna leave it here thank you for tuning in power one don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see y'all in the following video. So welcome to Reading Power 2. So having a look at who's thinking about you at night and looking at the details of what it is that they're thinking about. So who is thinking about you? This nine of swords could be someone who's constantly in their head, could be going through something, not being able to sleep, a lot of crying, a lot of, you know, late night crying, things like that. So let's see who is thinking about how to at nighttime and why are they thinking about them? So we have the hermit showing up in reverse. 
I don't know, like this is someone that may refuse to go inwards. And even saying that, I feel like, and I say refusing to go inwards, because with the Hermit in Reverse, it's like needing, you know, to me it's like this person's needing to go within and they're refusing it. They're refusing to spend some time with themselves. They're refusing. So, oh no, this may be someone, yeah, Seven of Cups. They could be still hanging out with other people. Or they may think that you're hanging out with other people here. We do have the Seven of Cups here. Who's thinking about how to ignite? And at the back, we have Ace of Pentacles here. New person even. Possibly someone that just moved or something new is happening in this person's life. Seven of Cups. I don't know if this person may think of different scenarios with you. Let's see. Who's thinking about power two? At night. 18 plus. 18 plus. We have the world here. So we do have Earth Energy in Virgo here as well. So let's see who's thinking about how to. We have Six of Cups. So for some of you, this could be someone from the past or from childhood. But again, someone who just holds a lot of memories even. Like so many memories there. It's like they realize the memories that they have with you they think about you a lot at night time i don't know if you can tell but in this hermit card this person is in the bed you know masturbating so this person could be playing you know kind of masturbating at night time as well when they think about you and they could be wild like this nine of swords it's like this person is afraid to change afraid to walk away from the past afraid to start over start new in this chapter in their life or in a chapter somewhere in their life. But overall, it's like this is possibly a burden to them for whatever reason. Possibly the thought of you moving on, the thought of them having to move on, whatever. It's like very stressful. And we have Nine of Pentacles here, single. So this person could be single here. They're thinking about you at nighttime. And with this Ace of Pentacles, just started a new job. Could even just, you know, again, moved away somewhere or planning to move away here. Having many options as well when it comes to their dating life is another thing I'm getting. They may see you as, you know, single and successful and having options and stuff. That's another thing. Let's see what white. What are they thinking about? Let's see what are they thinking about when it comes to power two at nighttime. Eighteen plus. What are they thinking about when it comes to power two? Ooh. So we have fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Capricorn energy. I'm doing it together. It gives me like. Ten of coins with the three of coins. I don't know why this person's wanting to get together with you. But this person. Let's see what's at the back. Nine of coins again. And this is upright Virgo energy. Relying on themselves. Again, showing up as single. I'm getting single and ready to mingle. So what this person is thinking about, possibly that they are not stable enough, you know, to, I guess, be in something serious or to really let go of the past or even try to come together with you, whatever the case is. But doing it together, I don't... I, 
you know, this three of coins came out upright, but it's again giving me this vibe of like a threesome. Third party interference could be when it comes to work again. Doesn't, you know, have to be a physical person, but it could be. Maybe this person is, you know, getting advice from someone even. They're not confident with this page of one, so they may not even verbally have the courage to even express how they feel even. Hmm. They may feel really lonely. So let's see more of, you know, from the sexy cards, what this person is thinking about when it comes to power two, late at night, 18 plus. Could be someone that cares about their status, but they're not where they want to be when it comes to their status, when it comes to their money. Well, there could be another reason why, you know, they're super stressed out. here Empress is here the devil is here oof I was getting the same vibe with power one the like the makeup thing like kiss and makeup do have their past energy here so I don't know if some of you this person want to kiss and make up wanted to do some bad things here we do have Empress here so they seeing this mm -hmm. The Empress in this devil here. Taurus, Capricorn, energy. It's like one do bad things to a good like sex, like 18 plus wise, like doing bad things to a good girl is like coming to my mind. I have no idea. This person, if you want a mask on, they could be huge, honestly. So, and I'm also getting like obsessed. So that could be why this devil showed up. This person is very attracted to you. Not only very attracted, but very much, you know, all types of attraction here. King of Wands, fire energy. A lot of passion here. I'm seeing like the King of Wands and this devil having so much resemblance. So... Definitely some 18 plus stuff here. This person's thing. But again, here we have the, uh, the threesome here. I was getting the lovers here. Three people in a card. So I'm going to let this person may fantasize about a threesome. At nighttime, they think about you and someone else. At the same time or either separate times. I have no idea. This person is very much infatuated. Could be with your butt, because I'm seeing it twice here. Three times, actually. Emphasis on the butt, the back. If you're feminine, they love looking at you, like, from the back. Like, love looking at your back, love looking at your butt, because there's a lot of emphasis here. This person may have some nice hands. So, let's get... This last one, and let's wrap it up. Again, three of cups here. Definitely like a threesome situation. And we have six of cups here again. So a lot of memories, a lot of, you know, fantasizing, even. So who's thinking about you at nighttime? Someone who is definitely in their head. Someone who's going through it. Someone who needs to go within, work on themselves. They could be refusing to work. On themselves they could you know be starting something new when it comes to work or you know a move could be someone who's single and what else kind of give me the vibe again like refusing to move on to the future they're so stuck in their head when it comes to the past and this is a burden to them they're definitely you know in nighttime masturbating touching themselves stuff like that what they're thinking about. Whew. 
not coming forward because they're not confident at all, but they are thinking about threesomes. But this Ten of Coins here, again, collaborating. Because, you know, with the Three of Coins up here, I wasn't getting threesome. It's like coming together with you, possibly learning from you. So, like I did say when it, with this, some of you could work with this person, so they may not be straightforward. They may think about, you know, how they're not going to be straightforward with you. So, it's like just keeping it professional. So, yeah. So, pal to this completes your reading. Thank you for tuning in. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you all in the following video. So, welcome to reading pal 3. So, having a look at this four swords, who is thinking about you late at night and why 18 plus? So, <laughs> the topic of the reading, who's thinking about you at night? And you have the fourth source. So this is, you know, 100% someone who is in their head, in their bed, thinking of you. I don't know. This could be someone who is, you know, in retreat mode, who's feeling defeated, or who's just feeling like, I, you know, they need to think, they need to plan. So let's see. Who is thinking about how three late at night? So we have the page of source here. Cover up the butt. <laughs> page of swords Ooh. could be looking at your social media looking at your pictures looking at something even messages or using their imagination when it comes to you late at night we have ten of swords wow at the back night of swords I don't know, this could be someone who's in and out. Showing up as a of swords. Could be an air sign. We have all these swords here. Definitely up in their head. Definitely, you know, is giving me the energy. Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. So let's see more of who is thinking about Pal 3 at nighttime. And why are they thinking about them? Okay, who's thinking about Pal 3 at nighttime and why? The devil in reverse. Definitely in this energy of toxic energy, toxic situations, trying to leave it behind, trying to release something, habits. Just thinking about them and why. So, Capricorn energy. We have Ace of Pentacles here, something new. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Stability is here. I don't know, like this person's wanting to offer you something. They may imagine themselves offering you something. I feel like this is like dreams here. Just thinking about them at night. And look at that Ten of Pentacles. <laughs> Ten of Pentacles with this Ten of Swords. It makes me feel like reality is. They're just, you know, only able to visualize you, to look at messages or look at your pictures. Because we have that tennis source. I don't know if they're feeling like this has ended, you know, or there's no possibility here. Because I'm just getting, you know, wanting to offer something stable and something long term. And releasing the bad habits. And actually, you know, something stable. Earth energy, Capricorn could be important. So let's see, what are they thinking about in nighttime here when it comes to power three? What are they thinking about? 18 plus. So what are they thinking about? What else are they thinking about? We have this King of Wands in reverse. Aries energy, eight of swords in reverse. Could be like tying you up and being in control, surprising you. <laughs> Gemini, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces here. Page of Cups is in reverse. Again, obsession. I was getting it. They could be very obsessed. Manipulative at the back. We have the tower here. That could be where this Ten of Swords energy is coming from. Aries Scorpio energy. <clears throat> and I feel like that's the reality. 
But I also see the tower in the 18 plus reading as the climax. <laughs> so with the page of cups showing up in reverse, it's like sweet nothings. You know? Sweet nothings tying you up, getting in your head. So what they're wanting to do is like again, this is like imagining or something. King of Wands very hot in the bedroom unpredictable you don't know this person's next move trying different moves on you ruthless in the bedroom is another word i'm seeing mm. it's like they're releasing a lot of pent-up energy as well mm. okay so let's get one last look at what they are thinking about at nighttime when it comes to pal three what are they thinking about Ooh, with this you have judgment but this is the sexy uh deck so i am seeing potentially having a kid with you changing for the better <laughs> Is another thing we have strength here taking the bull by the horn i am even getting this switching the roles up in the bedroom even the feminine here taking control and the masculine letting her take control like being on top is another thing i'm getting even a threesome could be on this person's mind could do what they're thinking about Look at that. Knight of Wands. So you have Knight of Swords and Knight of Wands. Gives me the vibe of riding off into the sunset with you. <laughs> a lot of passion. A lot of holding this person. A lot of touching, caressing, gripping, things like that. A lot of talking. A lot of sweet nothings. Sweet whispers. Let's see what else. Ooh, another knight and a knight of pentacles offering you something a date things happening after a date before a date them picking you up literally could be what they're thinking about i'm even getting like exact it's giving me like a play by play like this person thinks of them picking you up for the date y'all heading out on the date and things just, you know, it's like different scenes of a movie. It's kind of like the vibe I'm getting. Page of Cups again. And this gives me the vibe of jealousy. Very jealous. And obsessed. Now I'm here, Mariah Carey. Why are you so obsessed with me? Yeah. Masculine here could be obsessive with this feminine. Wanting to, four of pentacles here, wanting to open her up. Wanting to touch, explore her body, things like that. Tying up, yep. Doing some devilish stuff. Whether that, you know, be bringing alcohol into the room, role playing, um, you know, different devilish stuff. <laughs> and I'm even getting, again, it's unpredictable. It's like, you know, he or she won't see me, you know, creeping up on her. Kind of like the vibe I'm getting as well. We have a page here, page of pentacles. So more offerings here. And I'm even getting, um, with that controlling energy here, make like demanding something in the bedroom, it's like doing what this person says could be something that they're thinking about at nighttime. Even watching you with someone else, even, or someone watching y'all, they could be, yeah, that's what I'm getting, someone watching y'all, like they even like that, the fact that someone is watching y'all, they won't care. It would just make this, you know, the situation even better. 
let's get a few more. We'll wrap this up. Bring your toys into the bedroom could be something. Sweet moments together is another thing. And again, catching you off guard. This person fantasizes about the sweet moments leading up into the 18 plus stuff. Like after a heartfelt conversation, y'all make love, even outside. And taking a break and starting back up outside is like a fantasy. But there's definitely obsession here. Obsession with your mouth, with your body. And getting into your mind, getting into your head could be, I don't know, it's like a lot of kinks this person may have as well. So, how three is completion your reading on who's thinking about you late at night. And, yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see y'all in the following videos.